everyone. This is Trebay Savage reporting from Youth Ops Magazine. Welcome to the National Nelia Day Reports. November 3rd is National Nelia Day. On this day, BGLO members have been issued the challenge to wear their Nelia or organization colors proudly all day. The purpose of Nelia Day is to show our communities how sororities and fraternities give added value in society and across the nation and in our respective communities. More importantly, importantly, they not only step or party, they vote. With the founding of the first African-American fraternity in 1906, the fraternity and sorority system in our communities have helped improve daily living when it comes to education, skills, and job development and health-related projects. Many of these members serve as teachers, clergy, government officials, and business leaders in everyday life. To see BGLO members collectively wearing their Nelia on November 3rd will not only make a statement to their missions and aim, but will also serve as a visual reminder to young people like me that the act of voting is something to be taken seriously. Today I have a member from one organization here to talk about what and who she will be wearing on November 3rd. But first, let's learn from her why voting is so important and how her organization has educated the masses on why everyone should vote and embracing the power of the vote. Hello, Mrs. Jennifer Harris. We are happy to have you with us today. First, tell us why voting is so important to you and how it has your organization influenced you and others about the importance of voting. So participating in, ele in elections is one of the key freedoms of American life. Many people in the countries around the world, they do not have the same freedom that we do, nor did many Americans in the centuries past, such as you know my grandmother and great grandmother, they were not able to vote. So I believe that no matter what political affiliation you're a part of, what political um, platform you a member of, you should exercise your right to vote because so many people died for us to have that to have this opportunity to cast our vote. Mm -hmm. Those are some interesting points you have made. My friends and family have learned some great things from you and what you stated today. Thank you. Now for our second question, what are you wearing now and what and who do you plan on wearing on November 3rd? So what I'm wearing now is a camouflage shirt. It has um, my sororities um, Greek letters of Delta Sigma Theta. And what I plan to wear on November 3rd is a Delta Sigma Theta shirt that's going to have um, vote on it. So that way, um, again, I'm asking people to get out and vote. Now, what my organization do to educate people is we do voters registration um, drives as well as education. We um, put together platforms, um, candidate platforms, so that way the community, they get an opportunity to meet the candidates that are, that are running for office. And we have the opportunity to hear their platform, the issues that they stand firm on. So that way, when we cast our vote, we have information that we can take to the polls with us. Hmm. Those are some great choices actually. Thank you so much for sharing with us. I would like to thank our special guest for sharing her words of wisdom. Thank you, Mrs. Jennifer Harris. You have You're certainly welcome. inspired us all today. This is Trebre Savage reporting from Youth Ops Magazine. Make sure to tune in on our next segment of the National Nelia Day Reports with my junior colleagues and I. Until then, when it comes to November 3rd, start thinking, who will you be wearing?